Welcome to DCMI Virtual 2021. I want to take just a few minutes to tell you about DCMI, where it came from, what it is today, and where it is heading. For most of our history, metadata was recorded on physical media, from clay tablets to catalog cards. Let's call this Metadata 1.0. Starting in the 1970s, metadata went digital with new technologies such as relational databases, online catalogs, and XML. Let's call this metadata 2.0. Data is machine readable. It is defined with fixed structures such as database schemas and record formats, and it is designed for closed IT systems. When the World Wide Web arrived in the 1990s with its interconnected web pages, there arose the idea of a web of data or semantic web. Within a few years, this turned into a movement for linked open data. Corporations such as Google, Facebook, and Elsevier started to build their own webs called knowledge graphs. Wikidata was created as a metadata graph for Wikipedia. Let's call this Metadata 3.0. Metadata 3.0 uses web addresses, also known as URIs, both as identifiers for things and as links between those things. Metadata 3.0 is sometimes called machine understandable because its data structures support simple forms of logical processing. DCMI began in the mid-1990s with the goal of providing something like a card catalog for web pages. Early Dublin Core workshops pioneered the idea of core metadata, generic, widely understood terms, usable across domains for simple descriptions. Since then, the Dublin Core and related terms have also been published as formal national and international standards. The classic Dublin Core of 1998, with its 15 elements, was the first semantic web vocabulary to be created outside of the World Wide Web Consortium. In 1999, DCMI pioneered the application profile, which documents how metadata uses metadata vocabulary such as Dublin Core constrained in specific ways to meet requirements for specific applications. The Dublin Core Metadata Initiative has grown into a global community of metadata professionals, ranging from high school professors and students to IT consultants and metadata practitioners from dozens of countries across the Americas, Europe, and Asia Pacific. This community shares an open and forward-looking ethos we call innovative practice. In this community, innovative practice means bridging the gap between metadata 2.0 and 3.0, for example, by generating linked data from spreadsheets or by converting print-based thesauri into semantic web concept schemes. The community favors solutions that are simple enough to implement in low resource conditions or in multiple languages. Today's DCMI community sees itself as part of a larger linked data ecosystem together with Wikidata, Bibframe, Schema.org, and other more specialized communities. All of these topics will be covered at the talks, tutorials, and panels we will hear at this conference. We will also hear about tools for constructing metadata workflows or to create mappings. Finally, we will hear about the growing role of machine learning in the automation of indexing. Maybe that is what we will someday call Metadata 4.0. Enjoy the conference.